Welcome to the training package designed to support systems thinking in community groups that are grappling with complex problems. Many, if not most, of the social problems facing community organizations today are complex problems, also referred to as wicked problems, that characterize as having no certain answer and sit within a complex system that is dynamic, as in changing over time, with different parts of the system interacting and creating feedback loops and unintended consequences. When attempting to address a complex problem, it's important not to focus on only one part of the system, but rather consider the system as a whole. This sort of holistic approach is considered systems thinking. Systems thinking is a specific type of lens or approach that can be taken that is well suited to addressing complex problems. It is an approach that looks at the whole system and considers the dynamic nature and interconnectedness of the variables influencing the problem. The challenge with systems thinking is that the human brain can only consider a limited number of variables at one time. As well, it's difficult to imagine all the changes that can occur in different parts of the system as a result of intervening on a particular part of the system. That's why systems researchers have designed methodological tools that create visuals or maps of the system so that we can consider all the interacting system parts to make informed decisions about where to intervene. Two commonly used systems thinking tools are causal loop diagrams and social network analysis. Both of these tools create visuals that help the map the system and provide an opportunity for dialogue between different stakeholders affected by the complex problem. Causal loop diagrams give us information about the structure of the system and the patterns that create change. It looks at cause and effect relationships, such as the one between lack of education and poverty. However, unlike most traditional modeling tools that assume the relationship is linear, it allows us to account for the feedback that occurs that can amplify conditions in the system and create unexpected change. For example, poverty causes poor health which in turn has a negative effect on a person's ability to be educated. And poverty also makes it more difficult to access resources that could aid in getting an education. This demonstrates a nonlinear relationship with feedback loops that will over time further amplify the effect on poverty. These more complex models are more reflective of reality and allow us to account for the more potential changes in the system, making for more informed policy decisions. The data used to create causal loop diagrams can come from a variety of sources, including the academic literature, gray literature such as reports and policy documents, qualitative interviews with stakeholders, quantitative data from surveys or discussions from stakeholders, and the lived experience of community members. Wicked problems are often wicked because there are so many cracks within our system that prevent our system from fully functioning. Improving systems means moving towards one in which organizations streamline their services around their client rather than the traditional silo approach. To help shift towards this systems thinking, social network analysis can be employed to reflect on the organizations involved in systems and the degree to which those organizations are functioning as a system. Social network analysis utilizes a set of powerful tools for understanding and visualizing the patterns of interactions that occur within and between different types of actors, or in this case, the various organizations. Social network analysis can determine how organizations are interacting and communicating around key themes of interest, as well as identify key organizations involved in information sharing, service coordination, planning, and advocacy discussions. They can lead to successful collaborations. Although this method refers to multi-organizational relationships as networks, we acknowledge that the way that organizations operate together may be labeled differently, such as coalitions, partnerships, and collaborations. The goal of this training kit is to support community groups in using systems thinking to address complex problems. The training kit was developed in collaboration with community members and is presented as a digital case study. 
A case study demonstrates these tools and how they can be applied by a community group to a complex problem to inform strategic planning. The training package will guide you through the various steps followed by the case example to apply a system thinking lens using cause loop diagrams in the first section and social network analysis in the second section. Included in the training package is an overview of the two systems tools and the deliverables produced by the community groups as they progress through the various stages of systems thinking. The training is divided into short videos that are no more than 15 minutes in length each. Also included is a supporting resources section, such as PDFs of the deliverables for the different stages, as well as some additional reading options. The case study for this training package comes from a neighborhood house in Canada. This particular neighborhood house was grappling with a complex problem of an, associated with an underserved population that was far from thriving. The population had few resources being directed to the neighborhood and the director of the neighborhood house wanted to understand why this was happening. The problem of low resources had been there for decades but had recently been highlighted by some low childhood early development data for the neighborhood. The director had some thoughts on why the problem had persisted, such as the lack of gentrification and the demographic profile of the area, which may have kept the problem under the radar. As the population had a high proportion of newcomers and visible minorities, it was possible that they didn't know how to advocate for their neighborhood or weren't aware of the services available in other, in other communities. Clearly, this is a complex problem. There is no certain solution. There are interconnected parts in the system and changes to one could create changes in other parts. In the following sections of the training package, we will walk through this problem using a systems thinking lens. We will demonstrate how to do cause loop diagrams and social network analysis with the hope that you can take this information and apply it to your own complex problem.